thing is this line that you're seeing behind me, it goes all the way down to the front of the park and then comes back up the bridge up to the Tree of Life. So it's super, super long and like I said, it just exploded since we got here. So we're getting to a point where we can actually see the park, but I have a feeling it's still going to have our, our line still going to kind of uh, zigzag back and forth before we actually get into Pandora. So we'll, we will see. Opening day, which has been pretty eventful so far. Um, took, a, took us about 40 minutes to get into the park. Uh, 40 minutes wasn't bad. I got here a little bit before 9 and I uh, was in here by uh, 9.30, which was pretty exciting. And I went immediately because my only goal was to have breakfast. Um, I really wasn't interested in getting on the rides. We got to do that during the pass holder uh, preview. Uh, so, and by the way, the rides are amazing, so you should definitely check those out if you're here. But the only thing I was really concerned about doing was getting some breakfast. So that's what I did. I went and got breakfast. And fortunately, because everybody else was getting in line to, um, to get on the rides, fortunately, um, I was able to get into the line for the restaurant pretty quickly. Um, but I will say this, uh, the wait, wait to actually get the food not the order of food, order of food was pretty good, but the wait to actually get the food once we got in there ended up being about 40 minutes from start to finish in, inside that one as well. So um, they were having some trouble with the pods. The egg pods were selling like crazy. Um, so they just had trouble getting, getting that stuff out. But all in all, I got to try some really cool food and I'll show you guys what it looked like. Last time we were here, I got to try out the lunch dinner menu and loved it, loved the desserts. Um, and when I saw what they had for breakfast, I knew I had to try that out too. So we got up here bright and early, really just to try out the store. And I got through the line just in time. I was one of the last people to order breakfast. I was one of the last people served. And serving took quite a long time. It only took me maybe 10 minutes to get through to actually make my order. And then an additional half an hour just to get my food. So it took as long for me to get my food to be served as it did for me to get to the line to get into Pandora. Now, one of the reasons it took so long to get through, to actually be served my food, was because of the breakfast pods. Everybody wanted breakfast pods and they ran out. So, but fortunately they did fulfill all their orders. It just took a while. They weren't expecting the crowds, go figure. Um, but the breakfast pod was really, really good. Um, you might remember from our last video, I got to try the hamburger pod and that was delicious. Like a real traditional American hamburger, it just, like that's what it tastes like, but it was in a pod. Um, this was, uh, the breakfast pod was scrambled eggs, bacon and spinach inside of a pod. Just a lot of fun, really, really delicious. I really enjoyed it. But to me, the real winner was the cinnamon French toast with the blueberry cream cheese dollop. The thing was just so good. Um, that would be another one I'd recommend. Uh, I think they must have used the same cream cheese they used for the dessert in the, uh, at, in, on the lunch and dinner menu. Um, so if you like that, if you're out here for breakfast, try the cinnamon french toast. Really enjoy that. Now, because the wait was so long to get my food, they treated me to a free Pandoran Sunrise, which is a really nice, fruity, refreshing drink, non-alcoholic. So if you're looking to have something that is just refreshing when you get to Pandora, they only serve it here. Uh, and big thanks to Disney for making up for my long waits by giving me a free drink. Ooh, that's good. That's a good way to start the morning. Right there we got the wait line. That's the wait line for Flight of Passage, kind of wrapped around the park. A lot of people waiting to get in here. I'm going to check out what the time looks like in just a minute. Uh, I'm kind of glad that I'm not here to actually ride any attractions, just kind of to check out the, uh, the crowds and, and how they're dealing with the capacity. A lot of people. <laughs> 